Okay, guys, I will explain you how to do anything with a little bit more quality to it. So whatever you dance, you want to have a certain layers to your dancing. So an example of rumba walk, uh, let's see what is most important and how can you make it you know, more complex and beautiful same time. So when you do rumba walk, let's say this is just a walk. Number one layer for you should be collecting your leg. So what does it mean? Let's say if I'm staying here, lifting my tummy in and slightly rotating my hip inside, which brings this leg into this net to net position should be your number one goal. Because it has this tightness, brush, brushiness, and that tallness about it. So layer number one, collecting. So let's say if you walk and just focus on this position, how you collect, then take a step. And again, collect, take a step. Collect, take a step. Already, will whatever you do will look very, very beautiful. Okay, layer number two. After you did collection, focus on landing. What does it mean, landing? Landing means we're not going to put heel down right away. We're going to go toe, ball, heel, gradual landing. And after that, we collect again. And then we land toe, ball, heel like a cat. Collect, land. Collect, land. So that's already two layers. Okay, let's add layer number three. So we're going to collect. And after we land, which is toe, ball, heel, gradual landing, we're going to do finish. What does it mean, finish? Finish, it means we're going to open our hip, open our thigh, back leg as much as we can with the high chest forward, and we're going to put it into the front pocket, into this pendulum. And after that, because we are pretty low now, we're going to collect again. We land, and now we do layer number three, which is finishing, opening hip as much as we can with the high chest, pushing into this pendulum. So this is the lowest part of your um, dance. We're showing this line. And then we collect again. Collect, land, finish. Collect, land, finish. So it's already just three layers. Now to make it even more advanced, we can add layer number four, which is called prepare. So let's say we stay like this. We start with the finishing. Now we collect. Now from here, before I'm gonna land, I'm gonna prepare my body for the step, meaning time is more in, hip more rotating, standing heel is up, chest really, really forward, and there is a feeling like you're falling before you take a step. So prepare, and after prepare, we're going to the landing, toe ball heel, finishing, opening this, collecting again. After collect, immediately prepare, land, finish, collect, prepare, land, finish. So when you do four layers, already whatever you do will look way more beautiful, more complex, more interesting to look at, more interesting to practice. And let's say if you have some mistakes, probably, let's say you're not finishing very well, or maybe you're not collecting enough, maybe you're not preparing for your walk, or maybe you're landing too soon, you have to land a little bit more gradual. Let's add another layer, number five, it's called counterbalance. So for example, when I do here, finishing, as I collect, I bring this arm across, it's called counterbalance, with this part of my hand and this part of my leg, like they wanna meet. Especially for the ladies, you can make this kind of design. So this is another layer, counterbalance. And because when you're gonna prepare, you have counterbalance, it's much easier to control it. Plus it's another layer. Land, keep this counterbalance, keep this arm here. Finish, keep your arm here. And now, when you collect on the other side, now this arm will counterbalance you. This arm will go somewhere backward here. Prepare, land, finish, collect with the counterbalance. Prepare, land, finish, collect. Now, how we do it on the backward walk? Backward walk, the same idea. So let's say we're in backward walk here. What are we going to do first? We're going to collect here. So Tommy is in feeling like somebody pushing you back and you get to this net to net position, brush your legs and then take your rumble walk back, collect, rumble walk back, collect, rumble walk back. Once you do that, you can add second layer. You're going to do collect and instead of put heel down right away, you're going to go gradually roll, ball, heel, landing, collect, land, collect, land. Once you do that, you can add third layer. 
which is finish. So I'm collecting, landing, ball heel going through this two ball position. And I finish, I just release my hip into this diagonal pendulum position to show this beautiful line with the high chest. And after I reach maximum, immediately collecting to the very high position. Don't open hip too much. Collect and then land, finish. Collect, land, finish. After that, we can add layer number four, which is a prepare. So we go and collect. But what does it mean prepare for the backward walk? means I extend my leg back straight, very high hip, high chest. Don't open your hip, just up. This is called prepare. And after that prepare, we we'll gradually, gradually land, finish, collect, prepare, land, finish, collect, prepare, this position, land, finish. And layer number five is a counterbalance. So whatever we prepare, this hip going high, chest up, we're gonna put arm across to create counterbalance, to have more control of what we do. Collect, keep this arm here. Now, after you collect, you prepare, an other arm gonna get here. Land, finish, collect, prepare with the counterbalance, land, finish. So more you layers you do, more beautiful your movement look, more oily final result. And if you do some mistakes, probably one of the layer is missing. Rumba walk, uh, we have a certain layers we have to follow. Uh, let's say simplify for you all. So choose, for example, only one layer first. So first layer, when we go forward, is we'll be collecting. So collecting is this. So whatever you step, you have to get yourself into this position. What does it mean collect? It means your thumb is in, keep rotating, and this action suck your leg. This position, net to net position, okay, very high, 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 super high position. Yeah, so just practice okay. as you walk, just focus on collecting. So tummy in, very high position, keep rotating inside, net to net position. So walk like this, then collect. And so once you practice that, you can add second leg. So after you collect, now we focus on the landing. So instead of dropping like this, we're gonna try to go like this. Here. And after that, we're going to focus on collecting again. Land, two ball heels, and then collect. Land, and then collect. So, two layers. Collecting and landing. Now, to make it more exciting, we're going to add number three. Which is so, this is, this is where we're collecting. This is will be landing, now finishing for the forward walk. Yeah, that's good, that's good. We're going to open yeah. our hip to the maximum with the chest yeah, point. And then we're going to release it into pendulum forward here. So this called finish. And from this very low position, we're going to collect. Then we're going to have landing. And then we're going to finish again. Finishing. So finishing means your thigh opening with the hip as much as you can with the chest forward. And then putting it forward here. To pendulum. So collect, land, finish. Collect, land, finish. More layers we have, more beautiful movement we achieve. So now one more layer for you. Layer number four, which is already very advanced but very important too, is going to be prepare. So let's do like this. So we finished our step, collect. Now from here, instead of just landing, we're going to do layer number four, which is called prepare. So what does mean prepare? We're gonna lift our timing even higher, rotate our hip, lift our standing heel, and our chest will reach forward. So we're gonna fall in prepare like we're falling, and then as we land, we're gonna catch our body weight. Land. And after we land, of course, we're gonna go finish, which is a opening hip to the maximum with the high chest, pushing it here. And again, collect, prepare. So you see a standing heel already up. Prepare, land, finish. Collect, prepare, land, finish. So when you dance, you basically can check all these four layers. And if you correct mistakes, most of the time, let's say people not preparing well, or not landing well, or maybe people not collecting, they stay very low, so then you can easily correct yourself. So how we do it on the backward? Exactly the same idea. So 
this will be lending. Or let's say, so let's start from collecting, I think is the most important. Collect. So when you want to go back, not just go back. So use your timing in, feeling like somebody pushing you back, and slight rotation of the hip. Don't open too much. On the backward. Collect to this position, and then take a step. And again, collect, and take a step. Now we add a second layer. We're going to collect and land. So we collect. And then we're gonna gradually land, ball, 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 then heal. Instead of just heal right away. So one more time. Call that. Land. Call that. Land. Call that. Land. Now, to make it more exciting, we're gonna add another layer. Finish. So we have call that. Land. Now, what is the finish for the uh, backward walk? You just release your hip into that pendulum position. Slide high chest, but don't release weight completely, just slide it here. Collect, land, finish. Very good. Let's add one more layer, layer number four, prepare. Collect, now what does it mean prepare for the backward walk? It means we're going to lift our hip, not open it, just lift it high. Put us on both of the chest chests for so this will be prepare. And then now from this position, gradually, gradually going to land. And then at the end, we're going to finish. As a release moment, you finish immediately collect again. Collect, get a lot of brushing, prepare, land, finish. Collect, prepare, land, finish. Collect, prepare, land, finish. No shape. Four layers. Very good.